Yvette and I are sisters. We're not twins. We have different fathers, but we were raised by the most amazing human on the planet, Fauna Hodel. Yes. My mom worked her entire life to tell her life story and brought my sister and I along on this journey. For years, we knew that mom had a ton of stuff in this storage container was her whole life. Every single clue. Tons of audio of her and Tamar. I met my mother's mom, Tamar, when I was about seven years old. I found out I was pregnant. And I told my mother, and she said, don't ask me to help you in any way. After what you've done to your father, you're on your own. We only went through it a few months after mom died. And so she came back to life for us. Mama was black and I was white. Growing up in the late 50s and early 60s with such odds, I knew if we outlived the circumstances, this would be a story to tell. The biggest surprise I got from the tapes was listening to Tamar and our mom, Fauna, talk about the very first sexual experience Tamar had with her father, George Hodel. It's like you just can't wrap your brain around it. I've never not known about the Hodel family or the Black Dahlia or our family's connection to it, especially because the only grandmother I've ever known is Tamar Hodel. And that came with a lot of stories about our family. She would say, you know, my father, George Hodel, was this wealthy, rich, charismatic man. And by the way, he also was the Black Dahlia murder. I'd be like, well, what do you mean he killed the Black Dahlia? Or what do you mean you slept with your father? Or what do you mean he killed other people? There were no family secrets in the Hodel family. However, there are. I mean, we still truly don't know who our mother's biological father is. We only knew the tip of the iceberg. We didn't know everything. George Hodel did a lot of things left out in plain sight to make it clear that he killed Elizabeth Short. One of them, he named his granddaughter, Deborah Elizabeth, after Elizabeth Short. So when we found out that our podcast was called Root of Evil, we were a little taken aback because we were like, we're not the root of yeah. evil. <laughs> we're like, oh, but George Hodel was the root of all evil. And yes, we might descend from that root of evil, but- But that will never define who we are. Mm -mm. Well, thank you all for being here. Thank you. So, y your mother passed twin. 17 months ago. Okay, I'm very sorry for your loss, by the way. Um, and so you started, of course, going through her things as we do when we lose our parents, and you, you came upon some of these tapes. My mother had had a storage unit for many, many years, and she saved everything. She was the Nancy Drew in her own story, you know, of finding her truth. And the things that we uncovered were just like... It was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a lot. And she refers to one lie. What is the one lie? Tamar lied on our mom's birth certificate and said that our mom's father was, well, at the time, she said Negro because it was 1951 that her mom was born. So our mom thought she was biracial. And then she discovered she was adopted and realized not only was she not biracial, but she found out why Tamar lied. In Tamar's mind, she thought, well, I'm white and my family was awful to me, but she was close to you know, people who were well, African-American. And that's the story that we had heard for many years is Tamar had always said that she was close to the maids and the servants and the black people were always, you know, embracing her and she wanted her child to be in a loving environment. Do you know who was your mother's father? No. We don't know. We don't know. I know what she told me. She said he was a Italian-American in San Francisco. Uh, you know, that had, had raped her. Now, you gotta understand, she'd been totally sexualized at 14 by my father. 